Hey guys, today we're going to be making little flower carrier people. I know mine isn't painted right now, but that's okay. We're going to be using clay for this, so be ready. Make sure you're ready to clean your hands when you're done too. Alright, so the tools you're going to need for this is, I'm actually going to use Play-Doh, but you can use any type of clay or dough. And you're going to need a decent amount of it. I would say at least two small little handfuls, one for the head, one for the body. And then a little bit extra for the details. I would get something like a stick, like this is a art stick. And I'm just going to use this to help cut and shape my stuff. And then maybe a pencil for wrapping the flowers around to help shape them. Alright, to make a pinch pot, what you need to do is you're going to take your Play-Doh. Make sure you have two balls, one for the head, one for the body. You're going to take your first ball and you're going to make it nice and round by just twirling your hand around in circles together with the ball in between your two hands. Just going to make it fairly smooth. If there's cracks and stuff, that's fine. Your next step is you're going to take your thumb and you're going to stick your thumb inside of your thing. Right? If, it, if it sticks out like this, that's fine because we can always press it in and make it shape. And then we're going to take our thumb and our two fingers on the same hand and pinch to make the shape for our thing. And you're going to use your other hand to turn it as you go around. Once you've got a bowl shape, what we want to do is we want to shape it some more, so use your thumb and your fingers to pinch to make it smooth, to make it the shape you want it to be. So if you want it to be more round, you might want to pinch the corners here and make them smaller. That way it makes more of a round shape instead of a bowl shape. And if you have cracks, just pinch them out, smooth them. Make sure you're pinching lightly, because if you're pinching too hard, you're going to make your clay too thin. Alright, there is one, pretty much. And you can always smooth it out more later as we go. And you're going to repeat this to make a second one. So that you have two balls. Alright, for this next part, especially if you're using clay, we're going to use the scratch attach method. So you should have two balls, two pinch pots that you made, that are rounded out. And you sh they should be open on one side and rounded on the other. Or Actually, we're going to take the small one, and we're going to scratch along the edge and then we're gonna find the big one we're gonna line it up and we're gonna scratch where they meet in a circle and this is gonna make the two stick together since our clay is fairly wet if you are using the clay that bakes what you can do is you can take a little bit of water you can rub put just apply a little bit all the way around on this and then that's going to help your two clay pieces stick together. So then you're going to put the two together. I would stick one finger inside to hold it steady. And you're going to smooth them together. So that they're one piece. Going all the way around. And then I would go around again one more time. So that it's nice and smooth all the way around. You can go around as many times as you need. Alright. Like me, mine's, I still have a line showing up here, which if I bake this, that would crack. So I'm just going to use my fingers or tool to help smooth out this crack. You can shape the neck a little more if it's not showing up much. Because we kind of want our lady to have a neck. That way we can tell the difference between our head and our body. Alright. You should have a little clay left over. If not, you can get another little um, cup. Like me, I have extra cups of this Play-Doh. That way I have enough to use. And what you're going to do is you're going to start creating the different parts of the face and body. Alright. So for the face, the part that's going to be most important for us to create is going to be the nose. Because the rest can be painted on, but the nose sticks out. If you look at your nose in the mirror, it's going to stick out. All right? So what you can do, just like with our scratch attachments for the head and body, you're going to scratch where you want the nose to be. You are going to 
take your little nose piece, I would shape it into a little triangle. Scratch the part that's going to stick to the face. You can use a pencil for this or a little sharp tool. Put a little bit of water on both sides and then just stick them together and smooth it on. And I made a really big nose, but that's okay. I think it's fun to have big noses sometimes. Just smooth it on. Alright, there's my little nose. Alright, our next step, we're going to make three different things. We're going to make arms, we're going to make flowers, and we're going to make hair. We're going to need three different pieces for this. Alright, some for the hair, some for the flowers, and some for the arms. Alright, so three pieces. Alright, so we're going to start with the hair. Alright, so this is a technique that we use called coiling. What you're going to do is you're going to take your piece of clay. I would take your hands and roll it together to make it into a snake shape. And you're going to put it on your surface, which is, for me is a table. You're going to keep rolling it out, spreading it out. And if it breaks, that's okay. Because remember, we're going to want multiple hair pieces. And just keep rolling it out until it's a long, thin piece. Next, you're going to take all your hair pieces. What I do is break them so that they're all the same length. Make sure you have a bunch. So I'm going to break mine into smaller pieces. I'm actually going to roll them out a little more because they're still a little thick. Alright, now that I have my hair pieces and I've got a couple, I've got one, two, eight. You can do a couple different things. You can just stick them on your head. Or you can braid them. Oops. Or you can curl them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two or three. And to braid them, you're just going to twist them around each other. Create these little swirls. Or if you know how to braid, you can also carefully, very carefully, because they'll break apart like mine just did, braid three pieces together. Once you got them on, you can just squish them a little so they stay put. Just a little bit. If you squish too much, they'll get flat. You're going to attach them to your head. Remember, your nose should be up front. So we're going to smooth our hair leading up to the nose. That way we have a nice spot for our face. Alright, next, we're going to make flowers. So you're going to take one of your pieces of clay. You're going to split it up, depending on how many flowers you want. I'm going to make three. I'm going to make a little snake. Just like before, we're going to use the coil method. We're not going to go as thin as we did with the hair. Because we want to make this into petals. So we're going to make a snake. That's about good. And then we're going to squish our snake flat. Like a pancake. A really long pancake. Alright. You can do a flower several different ways. If you look online on YouTube, there are several different methods for making roses out of clay. I think this way will be easier for some of you. And what we're going to do with that flat piece, we're going to take it, we're going to carefully roll it up. So like you guys do with your papers sometimes, that irritates me. So you're going to roll it up to make a big old rose. Woohoo! And I, what I would do is I would squish the bottom a little bit. So that stays put. Like that. Make sure you don't squish the top because you want the rose flat petals to show. Okay, there's my first one. There's rose number two. I'm squishing the bottom flat. So that stays together. Last one. Ta-da! Next! What you're going to do is, what I would do is I would take your three roses and squish the bottoms together a little bit. That way they stick together. And I would have used the scratch and stick method with the water. And then you can just, so yep, definitely got to use that scratch method. There, that's a little better. Alright, 
Last part, we're gonna take make arms. We're gonna take our pe last piece of clay. We're gonna split it in two. We're gonna roll it into two short snakes. We don't want our arms to be super long, and we want them to be a little thicker. And we're gonna take them. And we're gonna scratch all along the side because we need it to stick to our clay. Make sure you do both. I would apply a little water, find to figure out where you're gonna attach, and then scratch there on your character. And I want them to be holding the flower, so I'm going to scratch all the way up to the flower. On both sides. Add some water. And then stick your arms on. And then make sure to stick a finger inside so you don't accidentally squish it. Alright, once you've got your character all together, you're going to take, we'll take a sharp tool like your pencil, we're actually going to go underneath, inside, we're going to make sure to poke a hole in there if you haven't already. Like me, I accidentally already poked a hole with my thumb, All right? If your piece is falling apart, that's probably because it's either still too wet or it wasn't attached very well. So just keep attaching, pushing it together, making sure it's sticking, and then you're going to let it dry. Once it's completely dry, you can paint it, cook it, whatever you need to do to make sure it stays nice and doesn't fall apart or crack.